Follow along the steps in this tutorial to set up your Google site. First, go to Google Drive. Then, in the upper left-hand corner, click on New. Once you click New, you should see an option to click on More. Under that menu, you should be able to click on Google Sites to open up your new Google website. Once you get here, we want to start in the top left corner by naming our site. A good trick to naming your site to make sure you can still find it anytime you need to go back to Google Drive is to name it with your first initial, middle initial, and then your last name. Make it yours by naming it your portfolio. Once you've named your site, feel free to give your first page a title. You could name it something like your name and your portfolio to show ownership. Once you've given your title page a name, from here you can edit your site with the criteria that we're going to go over now. Before we move on, let's make sure in the upper right hand corner we click on Publish, name your URL, it should already be named since we gave our site a name over here in the top left. You can see that it has a similar name in our published website address. Make the settings the same as you see here. To make sure our settings are correct, click on Manage, and it should be set up just as you see on the screen. In draft mode, only specific people like yourself can edit unless you give someone else permission. And in this setting, it should say Publish so that anyone at Horry County Schools can find and view your site. Once you have the settings set up like you see here, click Done. After checking that Manage screen to make sure our Publish settings are set up correctly, we can click Publish here in the bottom right-hand corner. Once we've managed our sharing settings, you're now able to share your published site with any teachers who ask for access. To share your site, you're going to look for this icon towards the upper right hand of your screen. It looks like a chain link. Click on that link and it will give you your published site link. When you're ready to share, just click on copy the link. And now you can paste this link to an email for your teacher or to a spreadsheet, a Google Doc, or anywhere your teacher has asked you to share your site link. When customizing your page, you can look at these text box options to add a text. You can add images. You can explore embed codes. You can add items from your drive by clicking here. You can search for items that you know you're looking for specifically, or you can search through folders and items here in this page. You can also, similar to setting up a Google slide or a PowerPoint presentation, you can select layouts from this menu over here on the right. You can add a table of contents, a set of images, a button that you can add hyperlinks out to other documents or sites, a divider to dress it up a bit, a YouTube video, your Google Calendar, Maps, or any of these other Google Apps options. Next, we'll look at generating content to put on your website. Now let's take a look at generating the content for your site. Your digital portfolio will usually consist of the following pages and sections. However, your organization may depend on your personal style and which format you choose. On your home page, remember to keep it clean, simple, and easy to read. Include a photo of you, make it a headshot, and make sure it's professional. Not anything silly or weird. For the rest of your site, consider including an About Me section. Include your favorite subjects in school, a goal you have for the year, or something you wish you were recognized for. Think about what does success look like for you. Include any clubs, sports, or groups you're a part of. You can bullet things you've done in a club or any titles you have in your club underneath the club title. Include a What I'm Reading section. List or link any books you're reading or a favorite book that you have. Find an image of the book title and make sure you cite the image. You could include a short description underneath the image of the book of your favorite parts, characters, or anything to note. Include any accolades. Those are like celebrations. For example, maybe you gained five points on a test that you took last time. But don't put your actual test scores. That's just for you. 
Maybe you have perfect attendance that you're proud of, or you're on the honor roll. Or again, think back to any successes that you feel you've accomplished thus far. Include content pages for each one of your classes. Your teacher for each class will instruct you when you will add content to these pages. You'll add content as you complete projects in your class. Just a tip, make sure that any Google document, slide, sheet, and etc. has the sharing permissions changed so that anyone with the link can view it. Include your passion project. Create a page for something you're passionate about. 